Hey guys, what's going on? Shannon here with a general tarot reading. I am back with the um, Chubby Bunny deck <laughs> because it is absolutely freaking adorable. I'm not being paid to say this. I'm just completely obsessed with it. It's so cute. Um, I actually haven't used it all that much, so we're gonna see what happens with what Chubby Bunny needs to tell us. What messages from Source Chubby Bunny wants to throw away to the collective. This is a timeless reading. If it resonates, awesome. If not, no worries. Plenty of other stuff out there on YouTube. All right, let's get into it. Spirit, what do we need? to know today starting off with the emperor and the nine of cups so looks like chubby bunny here is sitting pretty happy um stability with the emperor um nine of cups feeling accomplished um nine of cups can also border on kind of being like a a meme energy but we have the moon on the bottom of the deck, which says Luna, beautiful, my niece's name. So maybe there is something here that you're not seeing. Let's get some more info here. We need to know about this. King of Wands. So maybe you're trying to incorporate this success that you're feeling and the king of wands energy in order to drive yourself further along your path whatever that may be and i'm seeing three of wands here on the bottom so yes definitely um movement trying to figure out which way you're going maybe deciding upon a way in which you want to go Let's see, what else do we need to know for the collective today? We have the Queen of Pentacles underneath the Emperor. And the Sun card underneath the Nine of Cups. We have the star on the bottom of the deck. What a beautiful little star card if it will focus for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, this video is mostly about the deck, although we are getting a pretty good reading out of this too. Queen of Pentacles and the Sun. So as you see, she's got a cute little bunny here, um, her own little bunny. She is grounded earth energy, but still, you know, in that queen, the queen um, vibe. So nurturing, motherly. Um, and with the Sun card here, it, it looks like the vibe that I'm getting out of this is like potentially a suitor looking upon this queen of pentacles and going, she's kind of nice, you know, look at her. She's, you know, taking care. Of, she's, she got her carrots to pay first and the last. She's taking care of her little bunny here. <laughs> And with the star on the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing that as hope. So um, maybe some of my uh, male masculine followers here are have their eye on somebody. Let's get it one more card here. Or two more. That's that's okay. All right. So we pulled Justice and the Six of Cups. So this could very well be somebody that you know from the past, okay? If you are the queen of pentacles, um, even if you're the, the king of wands here, the way I'm seeing it is let's stick with one energy, okay? Let's stick with the king of wands. I'm seeing him look fondly on the queen of pentacles, seeing, you know, just a joyous outcome by being with this person. 
and really being ready to step into this, this emperor energy and provide stability for her and her little bunny. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just so stoked about this deck. It's so cute. And, you know, maybe this is somebody that he knows from the past and maybe he has been thinking fondly about this Queen of Pentacles and maybe he wants to make something right. Yes, we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So this could be, um, I, it, I'm getting the vibe that this is a message coming through from this person. So if you're vibing as the Queen of Pentacles, expect a message to be coming through. Although if you're the, the King of Wands in this situation, maybe the Queen of Pentacles reaches out. I don't know, let's see here going to happen next with the queen and the king here the star card again let's get a couple more the star card the hermit and the six of wands all right so definitely this is something that has been, you've been through this before, okay? Somebody had to go and seek some introspection, figure out what it is that they wanted. The other party maintained hope and, you know, really maintained this, this beautiful, grounded Queen of Pentacles energy here. And I'm seeing that, you know, at the end of the day, by stepping into this emperor energy and, you know, with the justice card here, six of wands, there's going to be there's going to be, even though there's not a two of pentacles out, this could be something um with the king of wands and the queen of pentacles this could be something to do with work but i'm telling you right now no in in my heart of hearts i this is like this is about someone stepping a male a masculine energy stepping up to the plate and giving this queen of pentacles who has been holding out for for her king and you know maintaining where's that star card maintaining hope you know knowing you know i know i know my king of wands bunny and i know he's going to step into that emperor and energy and he's going to feel the same nostalgia i'm feeling and he after sitting with it sitting through it going into introspection mode, speaking with his guides, starting to understand himself better. He's coming back and it's going to be a you know, nostalgic reunion, but also one, one for the record books. So if you have been wondering if some bunny is coming back, I'm sorry, I can't help myself. Somebody is coming back. It looks like they are. It looks like they are. We do have the seven of wands on the bottom of the deck. So there may be some internal struggle here about do we take them back? You know, this, that, and the other thing. But overall, I think this was an awesome reading. Thanks to the chubby bunny deck. And um, I um, I think I'm going to leave it here for right now because I think this is a pretty awesome to the point message. Um, and I was also thinking, would you guys like to see a video on like my favorite decks, maybe some of my least favorite decks? Because 
I have quite a few and I would love to give recommendations because I would hate to see people go out and spend as much money as I decided to, but you know what? No regrets. I have found some that are great. I found some that are terrible for me, for me, not in general. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thanks for stopping by. If it resonated, please drop me a like. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate it. And I bid you all adieu until next time.